Greetings YouTube, Cross Train here in World of Tanks. And today I bring you a uh, Clan Wars battle, another Clan Wars battle against a team we have just a sh very short but pretty intense history uh, with. So I'm going to bring that to you here in just a second. Uh, we are on steps. You can see that I am in my IS-7 and we have a whole slew of IS-7s with us. And um, we are uh, going to run a west sweep here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. And while we're moving into position, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this short but intense history. So uh, let's go ahead and get the countdown continuing. We are fighting against a clan. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is. Their tag is Rebel. Um, I think there's something about the resistance or something like that. Um, apparently this history started just a few weeks ago, uh, three, maybe four weeks ago, when uh, one of our members from Parzin um, apparently said something in a pub match to one of their members that they took offense to, and they have since chased us eh, around the map a good bit, um, trying to beat us up at every chance turn. So, um, and to their credit, I will give them just a touch of credit, they have uh, beat us a couple of times, including the night before this, they had um, beat us on a landing zone. And uh, so we are tonight taking them on in two battles. While this battle was going on, we had another group from Partisan taking on another group from Rebel on another map. And um, when we get to the end here, I will share you of that but you can see we are doing a uh, solid push on the left um, you can't really see because you can't see my map since I have it covered up at the request of our leadership and um, but uh, what you can see is that um, we are moving up the west flank and we are moving at a steady pace and, and the call was not to stop uh, to move into the back of they went valley push uh, or to um, move into their face. So you can see the engagement is on. We are going to do, this is just one of those that when you're on the receiving end, which by the way we were the night before, Rebel did this exact same thing uh, on a different map, Mountain Pass, the night before. And that is they just uh, moved in and, and really just kind of overwhelmed us. So I will just be quiet for a minute and watch let you watch how this thing plays out. Uh, they do respond to our push, but uh, yeah, you'll find out it's not going to be too much avail. You can see that they are um, getting run into pretty hard. You can see there's a bunch of tanks there that uh, did respond. So they weren't fully committed to the other side, um, it doesn't look like. Just watch this play out. I decided I'd get to take this Waff out. He's probably reloading, but he became my priority target. Took him out. Of course, I did uh, get tracked there, so I had to use my large repair kit to back out and then bombs the shell from the E5. Notice that we have an M48 Patton who is a one-shotter and uh, I want to take him off the field. So go ahead and take him down and, and at the end of the major push here, we're already up seven to nothing. Um, you notice, uh, you, probably, oh, you did notice if you look at the scoreboard, we actually have a T-71 in here. Funny story, because um, uh, that's the only tank that he had really that uh, that he could take out here and it was hilarious because he ends up you can see he's already got two kills he's taken both of their arties out and um, he said a thousand damage he will have done a thousand damage by the time all is said and done I just got whacked for the second time by an E100 and, uh, so my health is pretty pretty shook up uh, so a couple of the other higher health uh, hit point uh, IS-7s moved out in front. And this game is all but over at this point. We've wrapped them up over here 13 to 1 um, at this point. Um, 
and we've got our bad chat, our E4, E3 are moving towards uh, their final two tanks, which are down in the southeast corner. You can't see the map, but they're in the southeast corner. And our T-71's even going in to get some. So, uh, T-71 really did a great job. Um, lit stuff up and pumping out a thousand damage. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, this is a very, very satisfying win. As we were winning this one 15 to 1, um, our other team was on Karelia, um, and they were beating the other Rebel team 15 to 3. So it was a very satisfying night over in the Partisan household. Uh, Rebel ended up getting uh, beat up off their landing zone that was right next to our two territories uh, as well. So... As it turned out, they got mapped um, uh, by another clan, uh, Chai, I think, took them off the map at their landing zone. And uh, we beat them in both of our fights. So they have been mapped, and they'll have to come find another day and come back at us again. Either that or one of these days, they will probably get tired of getting uh, beat well more often than they win. So uh, that was a fun battle. It was fun to be part of just uh, A, because it was Rebel, B, it was a 15-1 to 1 thrashing. So it was... Uh, those are always kind of satisfying when you just do this massive roll uh, over the enemy. Uh, you would think, I've often wondered this in World of Tanks, you would think that with that many tanks and that s such close proximity to one another that the other team would be able to do better than one kill, which it wasn't even done um, on, on uh, our piece of the map until way late in that engagement uh, it, there in the northwest corner. But... Uh, if you've ever played this game and you've been involved on the receiving end of that or a wolf pack, a medium wolf pack, then you know that, um, but all for the extreme, the best players out there, uh, it is hard to focus on a single target when you've got four, three, four, five, six, seven targets that are right in front of you. Um, while your targets who are focusing are, are focusing fire. We did a pretty good job there of focusing fire. Uh, against the tanks who were directly in front of us. So that was a fun battle. Uh, glad I could bring it to you. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, subscribe, like the video, uh, leave a comment if you got one. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Cross Train again from World of Tanks, another Clan Wars battle. And until next time, I leave you peace.